At the outer reaches of our solar system, there exists a small celestial body ensnared in a poisonous atmosphere, lurking amidst the vast expanse of cosmic emptiness. A colossal shroud obfuscates the celestial stars from view, casting an immovable veil over its rugged terrain. As the faint sun leisurely makes its way across the sky, its feeble rays struggle to dispel the perpetual semi-darkness that engulfs the frozen plains, marked by unfathomable chasms. This desolate realm is none other than Pluto, a barren realm dominated by rocky landscapes and concealed beneath an unending cloak of darkness. Let's delve deeper into the mysteries of this enigmatic world. Pluto resides at a staggering distance of approximately 40 astronomical units from the Sun. It stands as a celestial enigma, a dim and unremarkable presence in the vast expanse of space. This distant celestial body traverses an elongated path around the solar system's center, completing its orbit once every 248 Earth years. Pluto's modest dimensions are evident in its radius, measuring a mere 1,188 kilometers, rendering it conspicuously smaller not only than all the planets in our solar system but also some of their moons, including our own moon. Despite its unassuming stature, precise observation of Pluto's motion enabled scientists to accurately calculate its mass which stands at a diminutive 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms, equivalent to a mere 1 18th of the lunar mass. This distinction positions Pluto closer in resemblance to smaller celestial bodies such as Aries, Ceres, or Sedna, a key factor that led to its classification as a dwarf planet in 2006. Pluto's elongated orbital trajectory results in an extended orbital cycle, Notably, in 1989, it achieved its closest approach to the Sun reaching a distance as near as 29.7 astronomical units from our star. Since then, Pluto's distance from the Sun has steadily increased, with its greatest distance expected to occur in 2113 when it reaches its aphelion situated 49.3 astronomical units away from the solar system's center. Pluto's distant and faint nature makes it virtually invisible to the naked eye from Earth. Even in images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, this dwarf planet presents itself as a hazy brown disk devoid of discernible surface features. Such conditions render thorough studies of this celestial body an arduous endeavor. To overcome these challenges, the New Horizons Unmanned Space Probe embarked on a mission to Pluto in 2006. This groundbreaking venture aimed to explore and scrutinize Pluto's mysteries up close, shedding light on this distant and elusive world. The journey of the New Horizons spacecraft to its destination was an arduous one, spanning a lengthy nine and a half years. Along its path, it transmitted detailed images of Jupiter back to Earth. However, it wasn't until 2015 that the spacecraft finally reached the primary objective of its mission, Pluto. As it soared past Pluto, the spacecraft conducted approximately 400 observations, amassing a trove of more than 6 gigabytes of invaluable data. It took over a year to transmit this substantial volume of information back to Earth. Regrettably, the probe's trajectory did not permit the capture of the entire surface of the dwarf planet. New Horizons did not enter orbit around Pluto but conducted a flyby as it was destined to explore other celestial bodies beyond Pluto. Before delving into the terrain features of Pluto, it's essential to grasp its internal structure. According to the prevailing model, Pluto houses a massive core boasting a diameter of around 1,700 kilometers. This core is composed of a blend of various forms of water, ice, and rock. Enveloping the core is an ice mantle measuring 300 kilometers in thickness, where potential tectonic processes may be underway, although they remain relatively under-researched. This mantle in turn is sheathed by a crust compromising a mixture of crystallized gases such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Some hypotheses posit that Pluto's core generates sufficient heat to partially melt the icy mantle. 
If this holds true, a subsurface ocean rich in dissolved ammonia and notably toxic may reside deep within the planetoid. In terms of surface temperature, Pluto experiences extreme cold, with the temperatures not surpassing 60 Kelvin or 213 degrees Celsius below zero. Our exploration of Pluto's terrain begins with its most prominent and extensively studied feature, Tombaugh Regio. This expansive region is situated in the equatorial zone of Pluto and bears a striking resemblance to a heart-shaped outline, which earned it the informal nickname, the heart. Tombaugh Regio spans a sizable 2,300 kilometers, encompassing roughly a quarter of the celestial body's total area. The surface of Tombaugh Regio exhibits variation featuring a smooth and lightly colored plane in its western sector, known as Sputnik Planitia. This region stretches across 1,492 kilometers in diameter and stands as a substantial lowland area when examined through an elevation map. Covering the expanses of Tombaugh Regio is a substantial layer of nitrogen ice, intermingled with carbon monoxide and solid methane. These constituents bestow a pale hue to the region, causing certain areas to reflect up to an impressive 90% of the incident light. Remarkably, Tombaugh Regio lacks the telltale signs of craters indicating its relative youth in geological terms. According to the prevailing hypothesis, Sputnik Planitia took shape approximately 100 million years ago following a cataclysmic collision between Pluto and a sizable celestial body. This collision birthed a colossal impact crater subsequently inundated by the contents of Pluto's hypothetical subsurface ocean, which swiftly froze. Several characteristics of the terrain in this area lend credence to this theory, notably the presence of numerous smooth surface regions ranging from 20 to 30 kilometers in size marked by hills and depressions along their borders resembles convection cells typically found in fluid heated from beneath. Such features indirectly corroborate the notion of Pluto harboring a warm interior. Encircling Tombaugh Regio are relatively lofty mountain ranges. Hilarimontes, situated to the west of Sputnik Planitia, reach heights of up to 3.5 kilometers. Meanwhile, Tanzing Montes, located in the southern part of the heart-shaped region, boasts some peaks soaring to over 6 kilometers above Pluto's average surface elevation. Remarkably, these rock formations are primarily composed of water ice solid as rock under Pluto's frigid temperatures. Further exploration to the south reveals a profound basin encircled by colossal terrace ridges constructed from ice and rock. It is postulated that this basin could be the vent of an ancient cryovolcano, with the surrounding rock formations representing its frozen eruptions. The chemical composition of these formations is of significant scientific interest, as it could shed light on Pluto's internal composition. In the eastern expanse of Tombaugh Regio, the terrain takes on a darker hue and is marked by a profusion of craters, indicative of its considerably greater age compared to Sputnik Planitia. Continuing eastward along the equator, a chain of extensive dark spots, each spanning hundreds of kilometers in diameter, comes into view. These enigmatic features are known as maculae and have been named after dark deities from various cultural traditions. For instance, one of these maculae bears the name Balrog, collectively forming a colossal feature known as the Brass Knuckles encircling Pluto along its equator. The maculae are separated by imposing mountain ranges crisscrossed by extensive crevices stretching hundreds of kilometers in length. Notably, the Cthulhu macula extends westwards from Tombo Regio and stands as the largest dark spot on Pluto spanning almost 3,000 kilometers. Unlike the bright and reflective Sputnik Planetia nearby, Cthulhu Macula reflects no more than 30% of the incident light, signifying its markedly darker complexion. The nature of this macula remains enigmatic, but it is theorized that their dark appearance is attributed to a significant presence of tholins and a relatively high concentration of impact craters indicative of their considerable age. 
The surface of Cthulhu Macula presents a diverse landscape featuring undulating terrain in the western portion. A smooth plain at the center and a rugged eastern expanse adorned with mountains and craters. Venturing northward, we encounter Lowell Regio, an expansive valley encircling Pluto's North Pole. Surprisingly, this region is currently the most illuminated part of Pluto's surface. This phenomenon is attributed to Pluto's substantial axial tilt in relation to the plane of its orbit, positioning its North Pole to face the Sun during a portion of its orbital journey. Consequently, the density of Pluto's atmosphere has increased threefold over the past 30 years. Even as it moves farther from the Sun, this change may be linked to the Sun's rays causing nitrogen ice to sublimate and contribute to the dwarf planet's atmosphere. Pluto exhibits several peculiarities in its orbital dynamics compared to the other planets in the solar system. Beyond its noticeable orbital inclination concerning the elliptical plane, Pluto undergoes cyclical oscillation near a particular point in its orbit. This phenomenon results from the gravitational influence of its large moon, Charon, which boasts a mass of 1.52 times 10 to the power of 21 kilograms surpassing 11% of Pluto's own mass. Consequently, both Pluto and Charon orbit a common center of mass between them, rendering them tidally locked with each always presenting the same face to the other. Charon, like Pluto, exhibits a surface characterized by notable darkness and a preponderance of water ice mixed with methane and nitrogen. This feature is observed only in certain regions. In addition to Charon, Pluto has several smaller satellites, all irregular in shape. Nix and Hydra, discovered in 2005, measure several tens of kilometers in size, while Kerberos and Styx, discovered later, are no more than 16 kilometers in diameter. These celestial bodies primarily consist of water ice and are believed to have been captured by Pluto's gravitational pull from the Kuiper Belt. Regrettably, a significant portion of Sharon escaped the field of view of the New Horizons probe's cameras. However, the visible surface of this celestial body still reveals many intriguing geological features. To the south of the equator lies a vast region known as Vulcan Planum. While its exact area is not precisely known, it measures no less than 400,000 square kilometers, akin to the size of an average European country. Within the Vulcan Planum stands the tallest peak on Charon, Kubrick Mons, with a diameter of around 40 kilometers and an estimated height of up to 4,000 meters. This mountain is encircled by a broad circular moat reaching depths of up to 2 kilometers. Some theories posit that Kubrick Mons may be a cryovolcano, in which case the surrounding terrain might have subsided due to the emptying of an underground reservoir. To the north of Vulcan Planum, near the pole, lies the massive Oz Terra, marked by numerous craters. It is separated from Vulcan Planum by a system of sizable cliffs and crevices with a total height of approximately 1 km. The largest among them is Serenity Chasma, stretching 200 km in length and featuring depths of up to 7 km. Due to the steep slopes, exploring its bottom is challenging compounded by the thick shadows cast in the region. Further north, near the pole itself, we encounter the enormous mortar macula, boasting a diameter of 475 kilometers. Its origin remains a subject of debate. According to the prevailing hypothesis, nitrogen and methane from Pluto's atmosphere were captured by Charon's gravity and subsequently settled at its poles. After exposure to ultraviolet radiation, they transformed into tholins, gradually accumulating with Charon's eyes. This theory awaits confirmation and may be the focus of future missions. Charon remains shrouded in mystery as research is only in its nascent stages. Although the Pluto-Charon system is unquestionably one of the most intriguing structures in the solar system, it remains insufficiently explored. Regrettably, the New Horizons probe departed the vicinity long ago, and these celestial bodies continue to recede from us, carrying their secrets with them. Currently, the probe is situated more than 50 astronomical units away from Earth, occasionally transmitting essential data. By approximately 2030, all of its systems will inevitably deteriorate.
leaving the probe alone in the frigid depths of space. Dear friends, we are not uploading new videos to our channel as frequently as we would like. The production process demands increasing time and effort as we strive to enhance the quality of our videos. Your support is our primary motivation helping us to advance the channel. We sincerely appreciate your likes and look forward to bringing you new and exciting videos soon.